Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. Now are you a newbie or are you a veteran? I challenge you to all of these facts. Now I can guarantee you that there will be at least one thing that you did not know. So if you were to find that this video was at least a little bit helpful to you, do consider subscribing as subscribing is free and you can always change your mind afterwards. So let me know down in the comments below which are the things that you missed out completely in this game. And of course this is not a competition or anything like that, but I'd just like to know a little bit more about your knowledge. Now with that said, the first thing that you might not know is the orange number below your EXP. So do you realize that there is a green EXP 673 and there is an orange 504? So what do these numbers mean, right? Okay, so it's really clear cut what the green numbers are. That directly relates to your EXP. But what about the orange numbers? Now the orange number is due to the fact that we have three espers who are already at max level. So basically what this means is the three espers who are already max level, they should be gaining 673 EXP. And because they are at max level, they are not going to gain EXP and therefore they will actually disperse the EXP to the other espers. So the way this works is you half the EXP of whatever that your max level esper should have which is basically 673 divided by 2 and you divide that further by the number of espers who are not max level. So in other words, 673 divided by 2 is 336.5 and because there are two espers here that I'm training up, that will be another division by 2 which is 168.25 and finally because we have three max level espers who are dispersing EXP, then each of my fodder espers will get 504.75 EXP. So this explains the orange numbers. Okay, now we're moving on to something even more technical. So hopefully you guys can keep up over here. So now on the left side of the screen, there is Hall and Biondina. They both have the same speed of 140. So the question is, who do you think is going to move first? Hall or Biondina? And the answer is Hall. So this is how the game works. The Esper that is towards the left will always take turn priority. So what this means is if both of your Espers have the exact same speed, right? And one is on the left and one is on the right, you can control who goes first. Now this is an extremely important fact, especially if you want to improve your speed tuning because having them with the same exact speed will most likely prevent the opposing team from stealing a turn and you'll be able to synergize your Espers perfectly. Now here's the next thing, right? So now we are taking a look at Lu Yi and Catherine. They both have the exact same speed as well with 123. However, Louis isn't equipping himself with anything special, it's just broken sets. And as for Catherine, she's actually equipping with the Windwalker set. Now do take note that the speed has already taken into consideration the Windwalker set. So therefore the 25% speed set effect is already recorded in the speed over here. So my next question to you guys, they both have the same speed, who is going to move first? Now this one is going to be a little bit more tricky because I don't expect any one of you to even know this at all, not even some of the veteran experts. So let's figure out who's going to go first, shall we? And as you can see over here, Catherine moved first. And this is really very interesting because Louis is on the left. So it's either that I was lying about placement order or there is something much deeper going on over here. So the short answer is going to be that there are actually decimal places to your speed. Your speed is actually not a full number. And this is especially true if your base speed is like a weird odd number like 99 or 91 or something like that. And you put a Windwalker set on them or you have a speed lead. Because then that breaks apart your odd number into decimal places. And thus Catherine actually had like a 0 point something speed in addition to whatever that was actually listed as her speed. So this is the reason why Catherine moved first and I think this is an extremely important fact that you need to know. Now this is not exactly something that you may not know but this is a great suggestion from Power Dust, who is one of my audience and he said that you should always have at least 600 over 1000 gold at hand because you will never know when you will chance upon a really good relic in the shop and you need that 600,000 gold to buy it. So do not blow through all of your gold all at once. Always make sure that you have some gold at hand because you will never know when you will find something like this. Now this has been a very lucky find for me with crit damage, crit rate and speed on it. So you guys might find something very similar as well. And if you do, don't forget to buy it. Now as for the next one, a lot of you guys have been asking me how do I get hold of all these espers. So as you can see, I have a ton of all these uh, 2 star uncommon espers. And this is an extremely common question, how did I get them? So the only way for you to obtain them is via an item called a silver record. Now this silver record is no longer available in the game. It used to be available by doing practice stages and doing ritual miracles. So in my echo you can see that there is a silver button and this is exactly where you pull for uncommon espers. And of course back then there was also an additional opportunity for you to farm rare espers this way. So maybe the developers thought that this is a little bit too powerful, therefore they got rid of it. But the truth will never be known. However, this is how I maxed out my Suhua back in the day. 
Now the next important point is that you can fuse Febreze and Gabriel, but a lot of you guys are asking me as well, are they summonable? Now very similar to Dahlia and Suhua, they are not summonable, you cannot pull them from the gacha. So save your crystals thinking that you can draw them from the gacha, that is not going to be the case. They can only be fused. Now another thing that you may not know, which is also a very common question, that's why it makes this list. And this question is, will my PT reset in the next banner? And we all know that there will be a new banner coming the 31st of May. And the thing is, your PT will not reset. So right now, I have 110 left for my next guaranteed legendary. And it will remain at 110 in the next banner. Although this is just going by a track record that it never ever refreshes. So hopefully the developers don't change it down the road. Now the final thing that you may not know is that you cannot stack your double drops, your 50% increase in relic drops or your EXP bonuses with events and this includes your beginner 100% EXP bonus as well as specific weekend bonuses. So you can take a look at the bonuses overview over here for more information but just know that you cannot stack these items and you're good to go. Now with that said, I hope you guys found this video informative. If you learned something new, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, it really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now this has been Daddy Free to Play and as always, I will see you in the next video.